Just what people think it's like to get into Walmart is, I've got this great product. If I could just sit down with a buyer and they know it's great, I'll be good. And that is not how that works. This all. is not. This is this is not Shark Tank. So yeah, it, yeah. it's not Shark Tank. You got to understand that when you're sitting down with a buyer, they're they could think you have the coolest product on the planet. What matters to them is how much work are you going to add to their plate. And if you don't know anything, it's a lot of work. And all they're seeing is all the time that they're going to have to invest in you, just to get you set up as a vendor, just to get you, just to. Just to understand how their supply chain works different, because it is not like Amazon, right? And when when we get past the original conversations and we kind of peel that onion back, you know, logistics is a huge part of it. You know, and if you're sitting down with someone who's brand new, and they're and you're like, well, you're going to have to get you know data sync set up and EDI, and they're like, whoa, what's data sync? What's EDI? It's like, well, wait, like all of a sudden you realize that there's. A, there's a laundry list of things: factory ID, brand IDs, all this weird stuff that flows around, and we're not even to like ladder plans and production and, and it, like forecasting. It's it's a lot, um, and so it's it's not it's not quite as easy as people think to just say, "Well, I got a great idea." If Walmart can see it; they would take it. The problem is they might take it and it might bury it because I've I've heard. Tons and tons of horror stories of people that have gotten into Walmart. Like they bankrupt me, and they did this. And Walmart's evil beast and stuff like that. Nine times out of ten, they are self-inflicted gunshot wounds. They are not. Not what I'm. I'm going to break a myth about buyers in Walmart. Buyers like to buy, and they like to sell product. They want to be successful. It's not their job to make you ready to be successful. And I think people get confused by that. They think that Walmart's going to be this big brother that's going to take them on this path, and they're going to sit on the shelf, and a million people are going to walk by it every day, and they're going to pick it up, and they're going to buy it. Everyone's going to be happy. They give you the, the tools. Retail Inc is one of the most fascinating, fabulous. I could sit here right now and tell you how many units sold down the street from me yesterday. Like when you get that kind of information data. If you're not using it correctly, that's shame on you, right? If if you're surprised by your inventory flow, or you're all of a sudden hitting out of stocks and things, that's on you. That's not their job to take care of those problems for you.